In the last tutorial, you learned about the if function. You learned that with this function, we can test an expression and return different values depending on the result of this expression. Now, what if we have multiple expressions to test? So in our orders example, let's say if the order is placed in the current year, we want to return active. If it was placed last year, we want to return last year. And if it was placed earlier, we want to return archived. So here we have three test expressions and our if function only allows a single test expression. In situations like this, we use the case operator. Let me show you how it works. So I'm going to delete this if function. We type out case followed by one or more when clauses. Each when clause includes a test expression. Let's say year of order date equals to year of now. So here's our test expression. Next we add, then if this expression, a value is to true, the value that we put here will be returned. In this case, active. So here's our first when clause. Now we can add another when clause with a different test expression. If the year of order date equals to year of now, minus one, that is last year, then we want to return last year. We can write another when clause. If year of order date is less than year of now minus one, that means this order was placed two years ago or earlier. Then we want to return archived. Now here we can optionally add an else clause. And if none of these conditions, a value is to true, then the value that we add here will be returned. In this particular case, it means an order that is placed in the future. So let's say future here. Now, finally, we need to close our case block with the end keyword and then give it an alias like category. Now, let's execute this query. The first order was placed this year, so that's why we have the active label here. The second order was placed last year, and these other orders were placed two years ago or earlier. So use the case operator in situations where you have multiple test expressions and you want to return different values for each test expression. Earlier in the course, you wrote a query to classify customers based on their points. So if a customer has more than 3,000 points, we classify them as gold customers. If they have between 2,000 and 3,000 points, inclusive of these values, we regard them as silver customers. Otherwise, if they have less than 2,000 points, we refer to them as bronze customers. Now, the query that we wrote earlier in the course was fairly large because it had three parts, three select statements that were combined using the union operator. Now, we can simplify this query using the case operator and get the same result. So go ahead and write a query using the case operator to produce this result. All right, so here we have three columns. Customer, where we display the full name for each customer. We have points and category. So just like always, let's simplify this problem by breaking it down into smaller and easier to solve problems. First, we just want to display the customer's full name. So select, here we're going to use the concat function, concat, and give it three values. First name, a space, and last name. And then we want to give it an alias like customer. Let's select these from the customers table. So our query is working up to this point. Beautiful. Next, we need to add the points. That is pretty easy. And finally, we need to add the category column. So here we use the case operator. We have one test expression for customers who have more than 3,000 points. So if points is greater than 3,000, then we want to return gold. Here's the second test expression. If the customer has greater than or equal to 2,000 points, then we want to return silver. So if the first test expression is false, that means the customer has 3,000 points or less. So we fall in the second test condition. Here we are checking to see if the customer has between 2,000 and 3,000 points, inclusive of these values. If that's the case, we return silver. Otherwise, 
That means the customer has less than 2,000 points. Here we return bronze. Now finally, we need to end this block and give it an alias called category. So here's the end result. Let's execute our query and make sure it works. There you go.